In North London, Harston community leaders launched an Arts Awareness Day aimed at promoting the diversity of creative performing arts within the area. People gathered to the Tavistock Hall in the heart of Harlesden to drink and be merry, but most of all to communicate their worldly interests in promoting arts within the area. And as the audience mingled and munched, the performers got rid of their pre-stage butterflies and practiced their last-minute fancy footwork. Organisers are preparing themselves for the main launch of the Harlesden Arts Awareness Day, which happens at the end of the week. But time is nigh to get the message across. The arts is the key for regenerating community spirit and civic pride, getting people to work together, to cooperate and to collaborate. And one of the best ways to do that is to use the arts and you get outside people to come to the area as well, creative people, and also it's a good way to entertain people. I think it's significant that Housden's actually now putting some money um, behind new thoughts and at last they're putting their money where their mouth is and they're beginning to develop and promote what the young people in the house and in Brent are doing and um, hopefully a, a day like today is going to start it's going to start the ball rolling. I was determined to be here tonight to encourage the area, the people living here, the people working here to get involved, to bring it back to an area I knew and loved years ago to be a place to live and working. To reflect the diverse performing talent, the evening kicked off with a little Irish dancing. Take it away, Marion. And then it was time for some dancing from a little further afield. After the show, it was of course time for the obligatory pictures. Go on and get on down there on the 16th Tavistock Hall. Most of the time, this is an ordinary car showroom, selling the latest deals on prestigious Mercedes-Benz cars. But today, dominoes are dominating the showroom. The event was to launch a forthcoming domino tournament, whereby organiser Rudy Page of the International Domino Federation had arranged for the eventual winner to pick up and drive away a Mercedes-Benz car. Rudy, what is so special about today's event? Today we are launching Maestro. Maestro is the number one game in the world. It's a game of mental discipline. And car salesman Dal Ravaria didn't hesitate to give Rudy his full support. Rudy, the president of the IDF, is an old friend. And um, we were talking about it one day and dominoes are fun. And the idea seemed fun. Have you played the game yourself? I've played dominoes, not Maestro. I haven't tried that yet. So what do you hope to get out of this domino deal? 
it's nice to help. The tournament's being launched here, and and if we get some publicity, that's great. And and we're just happy to you know to be in with it. And soon, Domino's will be coming to you via the internet, and will also be available on computer software. Gerald Winter is developing a software package and is in the process of monitoring the game so that he can develop a move-by-move -move database. Is it an easy game to play on the computer? Um, well, it's still at um, early stages because obviously the more games that you put into the program, the better we will get at, at predicting moves. So we'll have to see. And what about this new Maestro style of play? Can you play that on your software? Oh, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's, it basically, I've done it in such a way which it allows you to play four or two games of dominoes. Good afternoon, guys. Thank you for coming on this cold day. Welcome to the IDF Maestro Challenge for 1996. As you know, the first prize is a used Mercedes-Benz provided by Kenton Motor Company. Second prize is an Iowa Mini System. Third prize is a ticket to Jamaica that's been sponsored by New Look Travel. So today is just a demonstration match. And um, you know the game, so give it a shot. Four of London's top players got together for a demonstration show match. They will be amongst the hundreds who will be battling it out over the next couple of months for that coveted Mercedes-Benz. No guesses which game is going to be watched very closely over the next couple of months. How significant a part is Domino's playing in making people become interested in the Afro-Caribbean community? Well, it's, uh, it's one of these games that have been suffering for so long. And we have managed to improve the image of it by bringing forward the kids and women to be involved. Even my wife is playing it now. The domino competition kicks off over the next couple of weeks. Watch this space to find out who wins that wonderful car. Hmm, I wonder if I should enter. <laughs>